So you think there's any bait here, guys? Holy cow. All right, guys, we're back out with Captain Todd. They have uh, informed us that they're shutting down the Red Grouper. So today's like the last day until the end of the year. Not really sure why they're doing that, but obviously they think there's a problem with the numbers. I don't agree, but. Yeah, I bet you do. Yep. Got him, baby. Look at all the scales. Whack. Black it out, Cap. Now we got chummers and everything. Perfect. Doubled up, tripled up. You know what? Oh my gosh, look at that. <laughs> he hooked himself. <laughs> look at that. Beautiful. That's stud right there, boys. Look at this, guys. Trying to run two cameras. Oh yeah, baby. Ho oh, ho, keep him in the water, brother. <clears throat> gotcha. You got gotcha. me. Yeah. Look at this one. That's American Red. Be beautiful. You won't give me my hand back. American Red over there. Oh, beautiful. Nice. Here you go, Cap. Gotcha. Cameraman, I hope he's still there. He's there. I don't think he's as big as yours. Another red snapper. Wow. Nice red snapper. You said they're going to open up another season, aren't they? Yeah, I hope so. Because <laughs> I guess where I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> All right, buddy. He's on. Where'd he go, Rick? I don't think I introduced you. This is Rick. And funny story about Rick. Was it two days ago? Yeah, Sunday afternoon. He was dead. Yeah. No exaggeration. Yeah, gone. And here he is. I rode to, went for a ride in the ambulance. His wife did CPR on him. And here he is two days later out offshore. Can't get no ambulance out here. <laughs> <laughs> I won't tell you what he said if he goes out again what to do with him but that ain't happening I may not know CPR but we will be making out that's a nice fish you want me to bleed him yeah we can yes <laughs> put the crank to it so far it's been a good <laughs> minute and a half I'm gonna have some more of them ringworms, I think. <laughs> I need to get one of those cushions. Oh, there you go, buddy. You got a tape? Oh, right over here. He's 20. Give it the 10 feet of line and he'll swim out. All right. Get rocked up. This is only my second drop. <laughs> it's been a little busy. You gonna come out? Real fast. 
Now at least you got your. Oh. <clears throat> there you go. Oh no. Real good bottom. Oh, I palmed it. Ah, that was a good one. Dang it. That was a good one, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. Good one. Shoot. I had that drag tight. Oh. Okay. So there's some big fish down there. Yep. All right. Gonna try a northern mackerel. This is what we used to catch as kids. Be catching like that's a great bait. Bluefin tuna, you name it. Stripers. They're better when they're alive, but these groupers don't care. Big bait, big fish. Let's see if he uh, is gonna eat again down there telling everybody Hopefully drumming not. away boom 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 don't eat it don't eat it he's saying that was a very big fish shucks that was probably one of probably your a very possible yeah i think personal I'm, best on yeah that my I think my pb is 34 or something around there so couldn't imagine what that one was could have been a big gag too don't. You gotta just rub it in though, don't you? Thanks. Look at this guy. <laughs> uh, these baseball players, they have a sick sense of humor. Shut it down. Well, I think that big one's probably down there drumming, telling everybody. Dang it. Palmed it because I didn't want him to get back into his hole. He already rocked me up once. You finally hooked that sucker. Oh, he broke hell. him off. Yeah, he broke oh, him off hell. twice already. <laughs> Come on, don't let him get back to his hole. I think he came a ways to get it. You know what I mean? Fresh hook, fresh bait, big nice. bait, big fish. That's going to the house. Or to the fillet knife. <laughs> yep. Fillet table, fillet knife. We're gonna then we're gonna throw them in flour. Right. Come on, man. Uh, oh man, that's a good one. Look at this, guys. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Holy smokes, brother. Oh. Beautiful. Look at that. You he wasn't getting out. You had him like hooked and lassoed. Lassoed and <laughs> way to go, Donnie. Yeah, don't bite me. Don't bite me. <clears throat> oh, you bit me. <laughs> Dude. He's 29. I thought he's he got some shoulders on him. No. <laughs> Holy fat. cow. He is fat. Yeah, look at this. That's a stud. Heck yeah, bro. That's nice. I like it. 29. Yep. I, I would have swore the way he, he were having to palm him to stop him that that was going to be 30 something. Mouth on him. Boom, baby. Last day till the next year. Saltwater brine. So we need what? Two more, you said? Two more. Look yeah. out. Have a good day. We've already had a good day. Yes, we have. Two more. I thought you were gonna eat your sandwich and I was gonna be the first one to the bottom. <laughs> you still be the first one to the You're bottom. You're not gonna beat Todd. <laughs> so we just slid over a little ways. Let's see what happens. 
shoes on there. Oh yeah, that's him, brother. Oh, oh. got him that time. Come on, brother, get him up. Oh my word, did he rock you up? Oh. He's hooked. He'll come out. That's exactly that other one broke you off twice before you hooked him. Ah, he's, yo, you got him loose. You got him loose. Gain on him. Gain on him if you can. Oh my word. That's a good fish, guys. Holy cow. Bring him, Todd. Bring him. Oh. You got him now. He's up. Oh, good deal. I'm thinking this one's probably high 20s. Stop breaking. Here he comes. High 20s. Wow. Mid 20s. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. Beautiful. 27 and a half. He drumming away. Good job, brother. One more. He ain't no 20, 27, I'll tell you that. That's some pretty fish right there, bud. This is pretty good. Ah, short. Short. Life story. Rick just broke off on a good one, so there is a keeper down there. Yes, he's, he's, he's ready too. He's hungry. He might have a sore lip. We get over that. Send mine down just in case you get broke off. Yeah, don't. Oh, <laughs> see, you gotta, you gotta talk smack. I think this one's gonna keep. What do you think? There he is. That a yerk? Right there. 24. All right. Beautiful. Boom. Cha Ching. We can throw them back if you guys want to keep fishing. Let me get the hook out of him and I'll get him vented. If we uh, catch one here in the next couple minutes, I'll keep him alive and make sure he's good to go. Are we calling it? Yep. All right, well, let me bleed this one then. You can see this guy's been bled out. He's still kicking, but look at the color difference. You get that oxygen going through their gills. Like they never even left the water. <laughs> hey, we were supposed to be done, Rick. <laughs> no, I'm never done. I'd say he's 18. <laughs> Pretty short. <laughs> Here he comes. Deep color. Deep color. Yeah, that is a good one. It didn't work anymore over here. Nice. He's barely hooked. <laughs> <laughs> you know the bad part about that is? We've got to throw them back. <laughs> throw them back. 
That's a stud, can Rick. Can I get a picture? Yeah, of course you can get a picture. <laughs> I literally just bled this one. Like, he could have gone down. It's all right. It's all right. We'll throw this one back. Yep. He'll be there next time. Picture. Yeah, the commercial guys will get them because I'm sure their season's not shut off, is it? No, there's not. Just for us. So we came out to catch uh, Red Grouper today. He's going back in. Later, dude. Down he goes. Down all the way to the bottom. Let's head in. Get these bad boys filleted up. Good job, Cap. Again! <laughs> Again! <laughs> he almost died twice in one week! <laughs> He's laughing about it too. Oh my gosh. That was, uh, well, a little, uh, little got, scary. Got a little sporty out there. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> a little sporty. <laughs> oh, That's good work for it. I am uh, chilly. Hey, is Ford. that your buddy's boat there? The Real TV animals. guy? Real, Real animals? animals? Yeah. What's his name again? Uh, Mike Ann. Mike Ann, yep. So yeah, it's pouring guys. So we're probably gonna take a fish home and I'll fillet it for you there tomorrow. Cause right now my hands are shaking so bad. I don't know. <laughs> not from being nervous, although I was a little nervous, but not terrible because I am frozen. Tell him to eat something. I know. Get some of that sugar out of that console. <laughs> Welcome to the kitchen. So my son Steven and uh, his fiance Kayla brought us a little surprise. I'd like to introduce TB12, or better known as Tommy. Hey Tommy, you taking a nap? You taking a nap? I don't know. I mean, he's cute and all, but he's not that bright. Maybe we should have called him Gronk. Oh, just kidding. Gronk's the man. So I don't know if we mentioned this when we were on the boat, but Red Grouper is closed in uh, federal waters, but state waters, which I think, don't quote me on this, pretty sure that's a nine miles out is still open. But, you know, obviously the fishing isn't as good in in that close in my opinion anyway just because a lot more people can access it you know when the weather permits nine miles is a lot easier to get to than uh 
well, however far we were. I think we were probably 30 something. I think we were 15 to 20 when that storm hit. Let me tell you, that was, uh, that was pretty crazy. But we held it together. We kind of knew what was coming. Again, up and over. Nice, nice, nice. So now we just got a couple of little leftover pennies right here. I'm just gonna go all the way down the fillet, get rid of some of that bloodline, although this isn't a bad bloodline. Hey Tommy, hey Tommy, come here. You wanna play with the cat? Is that what you named him? We named him Tommy. No, you didn't. We did. Tommy after who? Tom. Oh, he's a Jets fan. The Tom Arnold. <laughs> it's adorable. Yeah, he is. Hey, buddy. I don't know. What do you call that thing? His name is Tommy. I already told you what we're calling him. Well, that's what I said. He's not real bright. Maybe we should call him Gronk. I was just playing, Gronk. We love you, bro. You're the best. You have that goofy attitude. That's all it is. I like Gronk more than Tom. She didn't say that, bro. I did. Bro, I did. actually do. Oh, my gosh. Anyway, his name is Tommy. Uh -uh. And you got to say it like that. Tommy. Oh, gosh. Oh, be quiet, you Jets fan. I mean, I'd be angry, too, because every year... For the last 20 years, Tommy's wrecked your week. Oh, look at this. Look what Paul brought over. We used to pick these. The morels were done. We'd go search the poplars for these. These are oyster mushrooms. We're just gonna pop them off like this. They get huge too. I've picked them the size of Frisbees. Yep. And I know that the stem is good to eat too, but we're going to saute these. And we're going to make some beer battered fish. You want it to be somewhat liquidy, but not too liquidy so it doesn't stick. Okay, so we get the beer batter the way we want it. Let's see how this stuff sticks. Oh, yeah. Let me show you how you check your oil here, guys. You stick the wooden handle in your oil, and it'll bubble if it's hot enough. You want to be about 325-ish, but of course, the minute you put the fish in, it's going to drop the temperature of the oil. We don't want to crowd the pan either. If you crowd the pan, it drops the temperature of the oil and then it doesn't cook right. Look at that. Throw some, some garlic in here. Lots of garlic. Plenty of this fat. There they are, fantastic. I think I'm just going to do a little bit of sea salt. Nothing too heavy. It's already salted butter. And then uh, just a little bit of ground pepper. My go-to, man. 
I'm just serious. It's Paul. Right? I, I'm pretty sure that's how it gets its name, Paulie. You call water? Yeah, they actually do make it. They have big evaporating plants and they evaporate the salt and, or the water and they are left with the salt. At least that's what sea I was salt. told. What about the salt? Very fragrant. Making a mess of the stove. The safety of chefs make a mess. All right, Polly. I didn't make any vegetables. But real quick, I'm gonna say grace and you guys can do the test. Our Father in heaven, we thank you for this day. We thank you for all of our blessings, dear Lord. And uh, thank you for getting us home safely through that storm. And we just ask uh, that you will forgive us of our sins, thought, word, and deed, dear Lord. And thank you for sending your son, Jesus, um, to sacrifice his life uh, for our eternity in uh, his name. We pray, amen. amen. Oh boy. I don't know why this piece looks good, but I'm stealing it. That was the first piece I was gonna take, so. I know, well, yeah. that is pretty good. Wow. Do you mind? Mm. Look at that, guys. Huh. Mushrooms and onions are killer. I love that beer bag. You could sell these. Yeah, I could. I just did. That'll be 60 bucks. All right, the check's in the mail. Yeah. Oh, I trust that coming from a Jets fan. Oh, my God. That's good. <laughs> that is good. That's fantastic. Anyways, guys. Oh, by the way, thank you, Todd and uh, Rick. I hope you feel better, brother. Thanks for taking me out. And uh, I guess everybody else, we're gonna see you in the next one. God bless, we're out.